Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. And I'd like to talk right now about product placement. Product placement is something that's becoming more and more common in movies as movies cost more and more to make. Uh, you have to remember that movies in the 1960s and 70s and 80s uh, cost maybe a big budget picture in the 1980s would cost $12 million, $13 million. Today a movie costs $100 million to make and that's for a small comedy or something like that. So how are you going to make up this kind of money? Product placement. I was at a studio this summer and talking with some executives and they were basically saying that they aggressively go after product placement to put cars, soft drinks, food items, for example, Reese's Pieces and E.T. suddenly took off like crazy. Uh, but the, the forerunner of all of this, oddly enough, is a film by Howard Hawks called Red Line 7000, which is, was considered at the time, scandalously, the most sponsored film in history. Let me. It's not product placement. I just like it. What? What? Product placements um, are something which adds additional revenue not only to movies but to television shows and there's varying degrees of product placements. If you have something f prominently in the foreground, you pay more. If it's something in the background, you pay less. If you just see the side of the product, you pay even less than that. And if you don't pay at all, the product vanishes out of the, the scheme. Um, Merchandising has become, therefore, a kind of an inescapable part of the movie process, particularly in the 21st century. Not so much in the 30s and 40s and 50s, but now the movies have become more of a business than an art form. Product placement has become an art form in itself.